she keeps saying the kids tell me she's there organizing it, democratic funding, all this stuff. And the point is, is that they want to get rid of our free speech online while they're setting this all up in the real world. And it just shows how cryptic it is and how they've traumatized these young people into Stockholm syndrome and are now trying to enslave them. Well, and also what's really concerning is she says, and then when we're done raising hell and protesting Trump, we're going to go to the NEA building and have hot chocolate. Woo! The NEA building, the National Education Association. So you mean to tell me that a federal organization, which is supposed to oversee the, the education of American youth, is now taking an anti-Trump liberal position? I mean, God, if these people are literally protesting Trump and then getting funds or getting support from the NEA, this is a full-blown information war. Total, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a federal elections commission violation. It, it, it's everything. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Well, Drudge Report came through again. Citigroup imposes restrictions on client gun sales. And just like we talked to Kit Cope of the great folks at SpikesTactical.com, Within 10 minutes of drudge linking, they took the fake ban off, even though they admitted it was on purpose in Bloomberg. They fear drudge because it's the number one site in the world, not just news site. It's like number two total traffic, but it's number one in the world. But the president looks at it, I'm told neurotically, and not in a bad way, just, I mean, I only look at it like 20 times a day. I think the president every five minutes. Uh, so Laura Loomer joins us. Big article uh, up at dangerous.com. By the way, Milo's been wanting to come work here and stuff. I'm just dealing with all the lawsuits and trying to get the money to do that stuff. It's all up to you, the listeners, whether I can get Milo or Laura Loomer in here. I'm trying to make the decisions. They're just hammering the hell out of us here. I'm not bitching. I'm just throwing that out to everybody. Uh, but Laura's a great investigative journalist. She leaked audio reveals Broward County teachers planning to illegally storm the White House. Uh, that's up on our Twitter. It's up at dangerous.com. We posted the article, infowars.com. So I appreciate her coming on with us. We got about an hour behind because of Trump and his big announcements on China and more. But I mean, it's just, there's no doubt we're in the middle of an epic time. This is edge of your seat stuff, Laura. And here's the left staging town halls, not saying there's crisis actors, but getting kids that are anti-gun to be the spokespersons. That's now come out. And now this, we've got the audio coming up in the next segment, but tell folks about this. Yeah, so I conducted a hidden audio sting on the Parkland, uh, well, the Parkland organizers here in Florida, uh, because as you know, today they're departing for D.C. for their really big March for Our Lives, which is going to be a three or four day, uh, you know, palooza of liberals just gathering together in D.C. to protest Trump and protest the NRA and, and rally to take away our guns. And so they held this meeting. And uh, a representative for the Giffords Foundation, who is also a teacher in Broward County, was caught on camera saying, uh, well, on audio, saying a lot of really disturbing things, telling the students to make sure they have their talking points ready so that they get as much media coverage as possible and influence politicians. Uh, she told the students that uh, the Jews control the politicians in Washington. So you also have anti-Semitism along with uh, left-leaning bias. And then she... Uh, she said, oh, this is super off the record, you guys, so don't repeat this, and then told the press who were in the room not to listen. But uh, they don't even have the proper permits to have a march. You have to have permits in order to have a march on Capitol Hill. And the Giffords Foundation, which is tied to Gabby Giffords, you know, the congresswoman who was shot in the head in Arizona and now, uh, you know, promotes gun control, failed to acquire proper permitting. So they're having a rally, and this teacher literally caught on audio encouraging students to break the law and storm the White House and march to the White House and raise hell uh, in front of POTUS, you know, just despite the fact that... You know, and let's talk about law. this, because Jewish people, I everything mean, is a very diverse group, and, and, and it, it, anybody that tries to say it's one thing or the other is just pure bull, but the left's always calling anybody conservative or libertarian anti-Semitic, including people that are pro-Israel like myself, with no proof... They just have Tom Brokaw say it, so I got to sue him. And then anytime I get around leftist, it is just Jew this, Jew that, bash Jews, Soros hates Jews, salt-loathing Jew, wants to overthrow Israel. And that's right, you've got the audio here. It's, it's on the articles. It's, it's a lot of it. Not, uh, shooting their mouths off about Jews. Linda Sorcer leads the Women's March. I mean, this, these people are crazy. 
Yeah, and it's also really concerning because when I confronted this teacher and this representative and I called her out and I said, why are you telling students, uh, you know, young minors that Jews control politicians in Washington? Are you an anti-Semite? And she goes, oh, I was just kidding. Well, if I were to make a joke and, you know, about black people and use the N-word, would I be able to- It's not say, a joke. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Just, just disregard what I said. I was just kidding. No, I mean, people would- me, especially well, it's exactly. Stay there, Laura Limerick. I'm just saying it's bizarre. The only time I ever heard about Jewish cabals and stuff is going and covering leftist events. And then the very left that's doing all this is in, is attacking me. I mean, they are crazy people. We'll be back. is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. All right, Laura Limber is a prolific investigative journalist. She helped with others expose uh, the Saudi Arabian connection as part of that civil war that was going on before Trump got them to roll over. In Vegas, we now have footage on InfoWars.com. New surveillance video shows alleged Vegas gunmen there days before. Uh, the government had said he was there, but our law enforcement sources said he was there days before. They told us he'd been in the Middle East. They told us it was part of a Saudi civil war. That all came out. Laura Limer got the receipts, all of it to help corroborate all that. That's on InfoWars.com. But there's a new story at Dangerous.com and at InfoWars.com. Leaked audio reveals Broward County teachers planning to illegally storm the White House. And so we're going to play a clip of this, but uh, all that's one thing. That's bad enough, but it's, it. Uh, I'm not bashing Northerners because a lot of great people live up North. I never heard people use the N-word till I went and uh, did rallies and stuff like 15 years ago in New York, and I didn't hear a lot of it. And it was more like a joke. Oh, you're uh, this Italian name. You're this Irish name. You're this black name. And I'd be sitting there at a table with a black guy and an Irish guy calling each other names. And I mean, down here in Texas... I never used those terms. My dad would have kicked my ass. I mean, we were not racist because we were Christians and we didn't look down on people and we were going to bring up society. And my grandma would, you know, have, I mean, on Thanksgiving and on Christmas, it'd be like 15 old black ladies bringing us pie. I didn't know why till later. I want to get the whole stories about it, but my grandfather was one of the first Republicans to run as an Eisenhower Republican, and it was all pretty crazy. And I remember being in the grocery store when I was like 10 years old, my grandma visiting her in the summer, and somebody walked over and said, F-U-U-N word lover, some KKK guy. And she just bowed up to him and said, get out of my face, you white trash. And so my issue is the Democrats, the left, I mean, these people are race obsessed and exactly and I've interviewed Louis Farrakhan, and I, I tried to bring people together. I'm not even going to attack him. But Obama meets with him when he gives speeches saying all this stuff, and that's all ignored. But then I don't say any of that, and I get attacked. So, Laura, I'm, I'm taking up your time here, and I apologize. L let's get into what happened and what went on. It's just crazy to see the Democrats who lost the first civil war, they lose the second one, trying to rebrand themselves. But it's only because of people's ignorance. Uh, but But... Please continue. She got this. Tell us about this Broward County. You got the video, but who she is closed because this shows they're organizing the students, which we knew they were doing day one. But then they attack us and say it's a fake shooting or they're all actors if we just say they're organizing them. No, we're saying they're picking who they want to give voices. It's in the news today that a conservative student was banned from CNN. Exactly. And a lot of conservatives, I mean, I received a 30 day ban on Facebook. You received strikes on your YouTube channel simply because we pointed out the fact that the liberal media and these organizers tied to left wing politicians like the Giffords Foundation is are giving these students scripts. And lo and behold, what does this organizer and this Broward County teacher say during this meeting? Uh, you guys, this is really like secret information, but make sure you guys have your talking points ready and that your camera ready for the legislators and the media and 
Cardinal reporters and CNN and, and Nancy Pelosi. They're having a secret meeting with Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. Joe Biden, who just said he wants to beat the hell out of Donald Trump. I thought this was supposed to be an anti-violence march, you know? Uh, it's all so hypocritical, and everything that the conservatives predicted uh, is literally happening, and it's caught on this audio. Another thing that's extremely disturbing is Southwest Airlines. Uh, this organizer said that Southwest Airlines donated uh, 200 plus seats for the student protesters to travel to DC. Well, I call Southwest Airlines and I say, hey, are you guys basically taking an anti-Trump, anti-gun position? Is it true that you guys have donated all these seats? And the representative said, no, 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 that's not true. And I recorded the phone call so your viewers can hear that too. But the Giffords um, Foundation, I've exclusively obtained their official itinerary for the march. And all of the students and the people participating in this march are traveling on Southwest Southwest Airlines flights, which are flying out of Fort Lauderdale Airport this afternoon, right? Really, as we speak right now. Um, I can send you that itinerary so you can see it for yourself. But uh, clearly, either one, Southwest Airlines is lying, or two, the, the liberals and the Democrats. Sure, are sure. Well, like well I want to play this clip, and there's a whole bunch of it. This is just a few minutes of it. But again, the left is like, kill all the white people, kill all the Jews, kill all the gentrifiers, and it's always weird white people. I'm just saying who it is, mainly women, you know, in Huffington Post, you name it, leading it. And it's like, and I'm not just patronizing. Most minorities I know are actually smart, hardworking people. They're not involved in all this. So it's a bunch of whacked out leftists leading this, Laura. I don't see where they think it's going because I don't think it's working. Well, exactly. And then when I asked the, the teacher, I said, do you think it's really appropriate for you to be like, uh, you know, abusing taxpayer funded resources to print liberal propaganda and encourage your uh, students to break the law. And she literally said, and I have a recording of this, I have no problem with civil disobedience. All right. So I guess she has no problem with students getting arrested for violently protesting the president, students skipping class and her committing fraud, essentially, this woman, Debbie Miller, in which she jokingly uh, tells the audience that she was printing copies of this liberal propaganda on a public school printer, right, using federal taxpayer resources to print liberal sure, propaganda. Well, let's be clear. Civil disobedience is in an area like a lunch counter. You won't let a black lady get lunch or a black lady's got to go back of the bus. That's not really breaking a real law. But when you go out and hit somebody in the head with a bike lock or you say Jews are the enemy, you have that speech. But, but as a teacher, you need to be exposed for what you did, especially when you're the people projecting that onto us. Let's play a clip from the larger uh, clip of this radicalization of the students the day after they said uh, that the Women's March funded by Soros was funding it. I pointed that out. They banned our YouTube. So again, this is Democrat Party. This is funded. It's now in the news. It's being funded by the Democrats. And here is what they're all over the country bringing young people in, saying you're important, putting them on hotels, getting them dinner, and teaching them this. Here it is. Um, the other thing is, and again, this is super off the record. So, here's what happened. It was supposed to be a march. And then, shockingly, they wouldn't give permits for the march. So the march became a rally. Now, I've heard rumors from kids um, that since the rally is right on Pennsylvania Avenue and the White House is like a 20 minute walk up the street, that that might happen. So it's conceivable that we could leave at the end of the rally and walk to the White House where we rally some more and hold up our signs and say our piece and create a little hell. And then go to the NEA building and have hot chocolate. So she keeps saying, the kids tell me she's there organizing it, Democratic funding, all this stuff. And the point is, is that they want to get rid of our free speech online while they're setting this all up in the real world. And it just shows how cryptic it is and how they've traumatized these young people into Stockholm Syndrome and are now trying to enslave them. 
Well, and also what's really concerning is she says, and then when we're done raising hell and protesting Trump, we're going to go to the NEA building and have hot chocolate. Woo! The NEA building, the National Education Association. So you mean to tell me that a federal organization, which is supposed to oversee the, the education of American youth, is now taking an anti-Trump liberal position? I mean, God, if these people are literally protesting Trump and then getting funds or getting support from the NEA, this is a full-blown information war. Total, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a federal elections commission violation. It, it, it's everything. And, and, and it's time for Trump to move against this because, because this is using taxpayer money. Laura Loomer, great job. The full article is at uh, obviously dangerous.com, infowars.com. Uh, your, your, your new site is lauralumer.us. Everybody should follow you at Twitter at Laura Loomer. Uh, great job. 30 second final comment. Uh, I would just really also encourage all of your viewers to tweet at Southwest Airlines today and ask them, are they, in fact, bankrolling these students to go? I mean, if so, then they're taking a position against half of America. And I also think that people should contact the Broward County School uh, officials and, you know, that there should be a federal complaint filed because this is an abuse. Absolutely, of folks. It's time to take action. And again, Southwest is crap, but it's got direct flights. I use it. If they're anti-gun and doing this, I'm done with Southwest. Laura Loomer, thank you so much. Amazing job. Thank you. We'll be back. It was just about an hour and a half ago. Owen Schroyer, the city council. It's dramatic footage. It's going to premiere here from the ATX on the other side of this break. Stay with us. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. The globalists are losing, but they're doubling down their attacks. There's one thing they fear, and it's people power. InfoWars has defeated their censorship so far only because of you spreading the links, spreading the articles, subscribing, uh, clicking the notification buttons, and getting the articles and videos out. But they are intensifying their censorship, so now it's more important than ever to ensure we keep the First Amendment alive and well right here in America and free speech worldwide. So from Australia uh, to countries in Africa to Europe to Mexico to right here in the USA, I salute you all for taking action and defending free speech. We will prevail. Nourish a probiotic-friendly environment in your gut with prebiotic fiber by InfoWars Life. Help the good bacteria thrive and support overall digestive health with our specially formulated prebiotic fiber, a mixture of clinically studied and organic acacia, fruit, and flax fiber. Prebiotic fiber is soluble fiber that ferments in the gut to help feed good bacteria which helps you digest food, absorb nutrients, and even support your immune system. InfoWars Life's cutting-edge formula only brings you the highest quality organic and clinically studied ingredients. Cheap prebiotic fibers are used up only at the beginning of the colon, but our premium organic acacia fiber is slowly digested by the good bacteria throughout the entire colon for maximum prebiotic effect. Head to InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139.